Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I've got a new video tutorial for you guys today. Uh, I have done one like this similar about two years ago, the muscle sod. That one was a different technique than the one I'm showing you today. This one is all one piece. I'm gonna show you how to take a roll of HD six millimeter foam and turn it into this. The hole in the center is completely optional, but this one, I am making a Terminator chest piece. And now for the reason why there's a hole right there is because I've got basically the piece of metal that's gonna show underneath the, this will be painted skin tone of course. But yeah, I've made a couple of these for the two different uh, techniques. This one is with the using aluminum tape, which you'll see later on in the video. And this one is plastic dipped, gloss, black spray paint, and then I just rubbed on silver spray paint over it. And it's basically gonna look something like this once it's all done. Of course, it'll be glued in place. And more even, but something kind of like that. But without further ado, let's get to the video. All right, so here we are gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, once you get all your muscle pieces all traced out onto your foam, you're gonna take your knife and score each muscle line about halfway through to three quarters way through the foam. And if you want to, you can uh, actually set your blade at a certain depth and lock it in place so that way you don't accidentally go all the way through. And then you can just basically line up your foam right there and then just cut. You don't have to worry about going all the way through. I have already uh, cut out all of the, or made all of my score marks. Once you've done that, you want to take a heat gun and go over the whole thing evenly first to open up the lines and you'll then you'll go through and heat up muscles individually and start uh, pushing and uh, forming the muscles out. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and once you have heat formed the backside and got all your lines all opened up, you'll want to flip it over and heat form the front side, uh, which I've already done. As you heat form the front side, you'll be able to just lightly see some of the muscles uh, already coming through. Uh, one thing to note is to constantly keep your heat, heat gun moving and don't get them too close, otherwise this will happen. It's not that big of a deal on the back but you definitely don't want it happening on the front unless you're going for a scorched, burnt look. But now that it is nice and flat and all the lines are open, we're gonna start focusing on main uh, muscle pieces. Uh, and as we do this, we're gonna be filling the lines in with low temp hot glue. If you've got a multi-temp hot glue uh, gun, which I, this is what I suggest, uh, make sure it's flipped on the L for low I know this thing was like 10 bucks at Walmart, you know, it's one of the best hot glue guns I've had. But you know, have that heating up while you're heat forming your chest piece. And uh, something else with this, my other uh, muscle facades, uh, the chest was actually separate and you had to use contact cement and it was like four different parts right there. This one is all one cohesive piece. So basically we're just going to be uh, heat forming the chest and pushing it out like that. I'm doing it all as one piece with no seams in the front whatsoever. Thank you. 
All right, now comes the, probably the most time consuming part, which is with the hot glue. And you're gonna fill in every one of these lines with your low temp hot glue. Uh, this could take quite a while. You wanna make sure that you use low temp because it cools faster. If you use high temp, you'll be sitting here all day holding the sand up and waiting for the glue to dry. Low temp dries super quick. I also have a fan going, so that helps with the uh, glue cooling down even faster. So yeah, I'm gonna start with the center and basically do one side and then the other. Okay, now we've got all of the most of the lines filled in with hot glue and it's dry. I'm sure you guys noticed I did not fill in the chest line yet. That is because with the heat of the abs, it kind of flattened out what we did at first. So I'm gonna go back through on the front side and reheat the chest and uh, get that reformed. And then I'll go through and fill in these lines with hot glue. If you'll notice right there, I broke through just a little bit. That could happen, but it is easily fixed. All we gotta do is when we fill this area in with hot glue, just make sure those seams are pushed together and we fill in hot glue. Hold it just a little bit longer than normal and it'll be holding up just fine. For this upper part, uh, you're basically gonna be wearing this thing as a necklace and then a strap going around the abdominal. I got a one inch elastic band. This piece is about 10 inches long. That's, I measured before and that's about how the length I need for an extra inch on each end to actually glue down. And I'm putting this at an angle so that way it'll set uh, flat against the neck and be comfortable. And it's be using good old super glue for this. Just uh, slip your head through that and it'll hold and then we will attach another straps and buckles right here and it'll be attached right there. Okay, so to actually make this look like a Terminator, Terminator chest piece, uh, basically I'm gonna have, cut this piece out right here that I've just sketched out with a wood burner to make it look uh, melted. I'm gonna hold it at an angle and go across and then I'll be uh, essentially replacing this piece that we're cutting out with a piece of uh, four millimeter foam, pan it up to look metal and just glued in behind. And with the wood burner, I always use this tip just because I've, you can get pretty much everything done with it. All right, I've got the center part all burnt out now, and I tried to get it kind of at an angle so that way I have some areas to paint uh, kind of red and make it look kind of like, you know, fake blood or whatever. But uh, yeah, and I added a little bit of burn uh, areas around it just for the texture. Uh, it did take a little bit to get all the way through it. And you know, here's the piece that I cut out. So as you can tell, you know, I went pretty far out to the outside of it. But yeah, there's that. We will be painting this with the uh, skin tone before we put in the uh, metal piece that we painted separately and then glued in, uh, be the last piece to be glued in.
Well, all right, guys, that does it for this video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys take this technique and use it on your own cosplays. And of course, always feel free to tag me on Facebook or Instagram if you guys use my techniques or anything like that. I'd love to see y'all's work and uh, give you guys another look at it. And if you guys want a part two on this of the finished uh, Terminator chest piece, let me know in the comments below because uh, I might have a little bit of time to film the rest of it. Uh, if you guys want to do this yourself, I actually do not have this pattern on my Etsy, but I do have a muscle torso pattern. pattern. I have two uh, available on there. You can use either one of them for this technique. Uh, you could just add some of the, uh, the side piece to wrap around because that is not included on templates. But yeah, uh, of course you could also use a uh, thinner foam. You could go four millimeter, but I would not go any thinner than four millimeter and I honestly wouldn't go any thicker than six. So to me, that is your safe thickness for that. But that is completely it. And remember, there are no mistakes in cosplay, only battle damage.